Um, first, I want to introduce myself again. I'm Dion Bush. Um, I run a five truck operation out of Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley, uh, Carpagini. We've been around 22 years. I started the company. I grew up in the industry. I was a repair guy. So I used to repair portables and vacuum cleaners and eventually graduated on up to truck mounts. Um, I decided after high school I wanted to get in the business. You know, I didn't know what to do. Um, I was told all these promises, you can become a doctor, you become a policeman, fireman. And I had other plans. I wanted to be an owner of something. So that's how I got in the business. Um, I just kind of woke up one morning and went and rented me a portable and went for it. And I never looked back. Um, when I started, you know, the internet wasn't pretty, it wasn't round really. You know, the internet was used for other things. At that time, you had penny savers, you had Los Angeles Times, Daily Newspaper, and whatever else we had around there, um, shopper magazines. I didn't have that extra money for that either. You know, they wanted thousands of dollars. So I went out, and the answer to your question, how you beat the Google guys, the seven that's on top of you, I'm going to give you. It's really simple. However, Joe explained it's hard because a lot of people have trouble breaking that ice. And this is how I beat it with this stack of cards right here. I would go out and give me a box of cards for 20 bucks, and I would walk and I would do just like this. Hello, sir, if you ever need your carpet clean, give me a call. Hello, ma'am, if you ever need your carpet clean, give me a call. That's how I built the company. I decided to never go with any advertising, and to this day, I've only tried one. And yes, that was Yelp of all places. I finally gave in in 2008 and got with Yelp. And since then, I've gotten off Yelp. I was giving them $2,100 a month. Once I got up to 150 reviews, yeah, they had a special plan for me. You may say, but their biggest plan's 1,000. Not for me, they made me their poster boy. I was there with them in the beginning. And I, uh, a lot of you have gotten my videos sent to you all over the country uh, sitting in my office. And, uh, and actually, that was shot was in 2007. Uh-oh, uh I'm breaking stuff back here. Um, I'll just keep my water cup there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. So what I'm saying is you don't have to go out there and spend all that money. Um, I started a, car a company called the Carpet Cleaning Academy, uh, which is at carpetcleaningacademy.com. What would happen is I got into business, a lot of guys would, they, hey, you got into young, man, give me some pointers. How did you last? You know, you're in your 40s now. T tell me something. I said, well, it's simple. Get your box of cards, then call me when you got two boxes. They go, two boxes? That's 2,000. I go, yeah, we're going to be giving them out. We're going to give out at least 500 a day. 500 a day? How? I said, get them. I'm going to show you. Call me when you're ready. Otherwise, there's nothing to really show you right now. So they get the cards, and I started showing guys how to get their business up. And we go to Home Depots or the local Ralph's, which is in my communities uh, around me. Uh, and, and I would go to every area. I had a map. I had a big wall map of the San Fernando Valley on my wall in my office. And I put a pin. Today I'm doing one, two, three. I'm going to do Canoga Park, Reseda, and West Hills. I'm going to do Calabasas, Agora Hills, Thousand Oaks. And I would work it and go all the way across to I'm in Burbank, which would take me days. But what I would do is I'd go out there and I'd give these cars out and I'd say, just follow me. They go, but people are going to tell you, get out of their face. People are going to tell you this. They're going to reject you. I go, no, nah, man, this is the best marketing in the world. So I would do this for these guys for free. Through time, people said, you need to start showing this because ever since I've worked with you, my business went up. So I've since dropped the penny saver. I've since dropped the LA Times that these people were in. And they went with this method, and some of them are still only using this method. Um, it's 20 bucks, man. It's 20 bucks and, and, a, and one hour of not being lazy. That's all it takes. And an hour, if you're in a busy shopping center, there's two doors at every grocery store. So what I would do is I'd go out. I'd get one of my guys that work for me to go out, or I'd get one of my sons. I stand in one door. You stand in another door. And as fast as you can turn around, people are walking out these doors. Try it. You're going to go, oh my goodness, he was right. Just try it. Pick any local grocery store. You're going to be turning right and left. Some people, you're not going to even catch them. They're coming out so fast or going in. You give out 200 cards, you got potential for new, 200 new clients today. Well, good luck waiting around for that. 
they're not going to get you that many. And yeah, everyone's not going to call back today, but they're going to call back in a week. They'll call back in a month. It may be four months down the line. I get calls, hey, I met you at the store. You remember me? I'm honest with them. No, I probably don't. I do this every day. You know, uh, sometimes they have a significant story that they'll share with me. I'll go, yeah, I remember talking to you about my six children. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I run a basketball program. So I'll talk to them, they'll tell me something, and uh, we go forward. Anyhow, guys, don't get caught up or, um, uh, you know, me and Joe work together. He know how I am. But for some of you, if the, if the cost is a factor or you're looking for some alternatives, go back to the original, original advertising. It's you. You've got the answer right here in front of you. Get out there. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of rejection. I'm not afraid to walk into any door or stop any person and drop my card. In fact, I have my Carpe Genie shirts on when I'm in the grocery store and the person in front of me and behind me get a card at all costs. That is a daily routine. Um, in the parking lot, I, I walk past no one. That's what I'm known for. Guys, they look for, you know, I have a group of carpet cleaners that we meet once a month and there's 25 of us and, uh, in the, around that area. Some are, think, well, they just walked out. Two are in the room here, actually. Um, but they meet up once a month. It's a group I started where the Alliance, uh, same initials, CCA, but it has a double meaning. This is the Carpet Cleaning Academy. We're the Carpet Cleaning Alliance. And I came up with the Alliance because a lot of guys were always backbiting each other or fighting and warring, and he's in my area. Man, we're in a city with 13 million people. If I had 1% of them, I'd be rich. You, you can't do it if you tried. If the mayor said tomorrow, hey, man, a tenth of them are yours, you wouldn't know what to do or how to handle it. It's impossible. So there's no reason to fight. And I try to share this with these guys and they see, hey, if I was worried about competition, I wouldn't have helped you for three years get your business going. You're in my area. The reason I did it, because it doesn't matter. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, that's kind of my nature, which is why I started the Carpet Cleaning Academy. And now what I do is I fly out to uh, different cities and states, actually, and I get people's companies up and going. I show them the old-fashioned method. I show them how to fight the fear. I fly in, I fly out. Um, just to make a, I know we only have about five more minutes. Get a box of cards, try it. It won't hurt you to try. Just try this. Try it for one week. Go out one hour, and you're going to give out those cards. Don't be afraid. Yes, yeah, some people are going to say, at the worst, they're just going to say, oh, no, thank you. Oh, I'm not interested. So what? Four out of five are going to take the card. It's been tried and tested. 80% take the card. These are factual numbers that I've used for 22 years. Try it. You'll be amazed at the results. You're going to be happy that you heard this little simple 10-minute conversation, and it's going to be the best investment you ever made, $20. Not thousands, $20, and an hour of your time. Don't rely on another man or woman to set your destiny. You're, no one's going to do it like you, one hour. Um, the reason I don't do that formal, I try to go door to door at the homes. It takes too much time to drop a lot of cards. Uh, when you walk around a community, you'd be amazed at how little amount of homes are really in your community. You think it's a lot, it's only a couple hundred in a big city, in the average community. Um, each block probably have 20 homes. By the time you knock on the doors, you're going to spend hours. I did that too. Um, the best way is to go to the local grocery store or shopping center where there's a Lowe's, Home Depot, Anna Walt, whatever is in your area and do that simple thing. Turn right and left. Don't spend a lot of time. Hey, um, don't try to sell them. That's another thing. You're not trying to sell them anything. It's all inform informative. Hello, if you ever need your carpet clean, give me a call. Two seconds and spin. You, that's all you want to spend with them. If they decide, which it happens, I always have my planner with me. Go, even my pocket planner is on me now. It's on me now. When I don't have my big one, my pocket one's here because I book jobs right on the spot. Everywhere I go, I keep my headset. It's another item that I'd like to share with you guys because real quick, another pointer to help your company. Um, this, you can get these at the local truck stop. That's where these come from. And the reason I uh, got this headset is wherever I'm at, I can take a call even when I'm working. A lot of guys tend to say, hey, I can't take the call because this is a real noise cancellation. It's designed for truck drivers. If you want to know where to get it, any local truck stop. Um, 
Don't lose jobs because I know some of you guys are individuals, you don't have or can't afford the, the fancy answering services. Hey, that's fine. Improvise with what you have. Get you a headset. You can still be your own operator and you got the wand, your hands free, and the customers understand that you're, you're a small business. They love us. They're not going to go against you. That's, how, that's why they've been using you for years. Answer the calls. A lot of guys, they ignore phone calls. Number one thing in this business, you must answer that phone. There's guys I call and I can never get a hold of them. I'm going, man, that's why you don't have no business. We work so hard. Look how many hours I spend going out in the public giving out these cards. Well, what a shame for me to have the nerve to not answer the phone after all that hard work. Think about that for a second. A lot of guys, oh, after five, I don't answer my phone. Well, shame on you. I'm going to tell you right now. Shame on you. Answer that phone. That's why, otherwise, get in another line of business. This ain't for you. You answer the phone at all costs. For those that do water damage, you should really be answering the phone 24 hours a day. Someone have a pipe break and they got a two-year-old crawling on the floor and there's poop and urine on the floor. They need you. It's an emergency. You're like the ambulance. If you don't answer, another guy will and he's going to get that five, six thousand dollars. And I'm that guy. I really answer the phone 24 hours a day. Um, no answering service, you're going to get Dion. Um, answer the phone, get a box of cards, try the method. It's simple, uh, it's inexpensive, and you'll be amazed at the results. And next year at the show, or if you're at one of the other shows, I go to all of them around the, the country, you know, let me know how it worked for you. I'd be interested to know, or give me a call. Look me up at carpetcleaningacademy.com. If you lose the number, you can reach me through Joe's website. I have a link on there. Or you can call 1-800-209-1750. Um, either way, you can get a hold of me. Yes, ma'am. When you go to like Home Depot or the grocery store, do you have to ask permission or do they not? Isn't that like... You should ask permission. Do I know? I'll tell you the remedy to that. Sir, you had a question too? The same one. The same one. That's usually the fear of why people don't give out the cards. Um, do I know? They're going to always tell you no. If you ask a person, hey, you want to spend some money today, they're going to tell you no too, right? You have to present something first. So my method is I go straight to the security guard. Hey, man, if you ever need your carpet clean, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of you, man. Living room on the house. What? This is just what they do. You went, man, I got you. He's out the way. He's the only one going to give you a problem. <laughs> that, it, 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 it's a fact. It, it, it's a fact. He's the only guy going to give you a problem. No one else is going to come out in the parking lot and tell you anything. So that's why I don't go inside and ask. You go out and ask one of those corporate managers, you're going to get a corporate response. I'm sorry, you got to call our HR department. Our, I'm not involved, our store directors. By the time you do that, you lost it. It's over. So don't ask. Should you? Have you been asked to leave? Of course. And I'm back tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> I'm back tomorrow or the next day. It happens all the time. Um, there'll be places that say every sign has a, uh, there's no soliciting everywhere you go. Everywhere. But you know and I know human nature is that's not accurate. If that was the case, we wouldn't even have, these wouldn't even be in existence, would they? Soliciting, you have to kind of break through a barrier. Don't be afraid, you know. Look at that soliciting as welcome. And I'm not soliciting anything. I'm, not in, I'm just saying, hey, if you ever need your carpet clean, give me a call. You meet people by business card. That's what you're here giving out today. Whether you have a booth or not, you've still got a stack of cards giving them out. You don't even need a booth to do it. So, yes, sir. Uh, might be a little bit more harder. Excuse me, might be a little more harder, but how about putting it on the window? Frame of the car, the Some people do that. I've never been a fan of it, and I've never been a fan of flyers because I, I always ball them up when people yeah, give it to me and toss it. I was in that five minutes out of the shopping center doing stuff like that. Come back and forth. That. That's, that's why you have to call me. Give me a call or in private time or something. I can get you past that. It's, it's easier than you think. It really is. It's just that initial. You know, it's like working out. You know, I'm 40 pounds overweight. I, I ran track, you know, in high school. I don't look like it now, though, but I was a track star. But, and I always say every day, oh, I'm going to go out there. Sometimes you need that coach to just say, hey, man, we got to get up and go for it. You know, it's the same thing. Same thing. I can go work out, and every, anybody else in here can, too. The gym's free. It's here. But how many of us worked out this morning? 
Not many. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> good, 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 good. Any other questions out there? So just, just fight through that. Um, don't be scared. Don't be afraid of rejection. We've been getting it all of our lives, especially as carpet cleaners. We're salesmen by nature. Um, this is what we do. Go out there and make some money. Save some money. Don't give away all your profits to marketing. Um, learn how to save some, but when you need the guys, you know, you can call Joe, you can call other companies out there. Uh, yes, ma'am. I just want to say you're right. Oh, I, I think it's such a simple technique and we just don't think of doing it, but I'm sure you're, you are 100% right. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, a lot of us have gotten caught up in the new tech age and in my opinion, on it, it destroys a lot of the old-fashioned values that are just so simple. And uh, we, we tend to forget that. I mean, a lot of us, if you, if you don't have that cell phone, you don't even know your own mother's phone number. I think it's pathetic because we're caught up on this. Back in the day, you had to dial it. You knew your grandmothers, your aunts, the neighbor across the street by heart. So the, the tech is it, killing us. So I try to keep it simple so I don't lose the old-fashioned values the best I can. And it, and it works pretty good. Let them know you'll be at my booth there. Yeah, and I'll be at the booth. I, I share a booth with Joe. So come on by, say hello. Um, yes, sir. Is it, is it a bottle? Uh, I, it, blue Parrot is the most known. This is a Blue Tiger. Yes, I've had them both. You can't go wrong. The B250 XT and uh, the Blue Parrot that I have. Uh, they're, they're both great. But you could be in a loud room, screaming noise. T I'm telling you, you won't hear anything. They don't even know I'm cleaning carpet. I'm, I'm serious. You can't... Well, too. Oh, you can hear. I've tried the jaw bones over the years. I've tried. They're all junk. Every last one of them are junk. All of them. Are, once you try this, you'll say, oh my goodness, why don't they sell these at cell phone shops? That's because they're for truck drivers. You got to go to the nearest pilot, you know, TA centers, Flying J. Flying J. Everyone in my crew has them because they saw me for years, and now everyone in our group has them. That's come. This is Blue Tiger. Blue Parrot or Blue Tiger will work fine. What do it, they run? They're like 200 bucks, but it's the best headset you'll ever get. You'll never need another one. You know how they start going out or you got to go buy another one? I got tired of that too. This is your answer. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? Ladies? Yes, sir. Well, if you lose a job because you can't hear them, I mean, they're going to pay for itself off the note. That's right. A lot of people don't answer the phone because they think they're being rude to the customer, and that's what made me, you know, I don't go anywhere without mine. I answer that phone regardless. In front of the customer, I'll just, I'll take the, hey, excuse me, ma'am, I just got to take this. If they're talking to you, you already have them. You're not going to lose them. They understand. Any other questions? No? All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the show.